Oh. You want to make sure that your coasters are not. This is so you dress your. Your dress, your dress, not on top of the cushions, but. <laughs> you want to see? You know what I mean? <laughs> And today's video is going to be part of a series that I'm calling At Home with Lumi. It's all about how you can make upgrades to your home to make it look a bit more luxurious. Today we're in my lounge. We're going to be talking about different things that I've added into the space as well as how I styled um, my coffee table to make the space look super super beautiful so stay tuned the coffee table in my lounge is a gray and white marble coffee table so all the other items that i place on it are inspired by it i really want to stay within a monochromatic situation look and that's what inspired me to choose the items that i have chosen i start off by placing a tray a tray is really good for grounding smaller items on a coffee table and on top of the white tray that is automatically lifted from the color of the actual marble i can then place um, my black small vases which i absolutely love they're a nice contrast but not too um, demanding to your eye when you're looking at the overall coffee table another great way to fill up your coffee table is to then add books now you can use actual books with pages in between or you can use boxes that look like books these specific books are from shf and so i've stacked two of these together again monochromatic to actually pull your eye lifted off of the table um, rather the color of the marble of the table and then after that, I place a green marble um, tray as well. Also something a bit different, but can still hold items. So smaller items like holding a candle. And um, this is also to add visual contrast by creating a pop of color in the escaping of my coffee table. Nothing too over the top, still very muted and still in line with the rest of the items that I've placed on the coffee table. So another important element for your coffee table are coasters. This is so your guests have a place to put their drinks. Um, you can get to play around with coasters. I have ones that are a different shape, but you can add color onto your coffee table with coasters. You also really want to have them because it's your house and you don't want your guests to mess up your furniture and your stuff. So yeah, super important. I then add another candle on top of these two stacks of books. This is just to add more height. So you want everything to be grouped if it's smaller items. And then you also want to create height. I've already stacked the two books together. Now I'm creating added height by adding a candle onto that. Um, the candle also has some visual interest to it as well, which just like makes it more interesting. Um, so yeah, great to add your candle on top of your books. I absolutely love adding plants and fresh flowers into my interior decor, um, and especially with placing them on my uh, coffee table. In this case, I've added an interesting sculptured vase um, and added a branch just from my garden into the vase, just for more dimension, more height, and just like interesting visuals okay so since you're all done with scaping your coffee table and it looks amazing now to look at the overall space of the living area couches are a big item in the space obviously because that's where you sit and you lounge and you watch tv but they can be quite flat so you can add visual interest onto them and make them look a little more comfortable by adding pillows i like to chop my pillows and that's just how i style them and with cushions you're not always able to style, style them with a chop if they aren't um filled with a feather down inner so make sure that your cushions are filled with a feather down inner if that is too pricey you can always fill them with a normal comforter inner but make sure that it's full properly so that you could uh, chop them or they look quite full and luxurious i also like to add a throw onto my couch just so 
there's more visual interest and for comfort as well you always want your space to keep looking comfortable and beautiful uh, but welcoming to your guests and because it's your home at the end of the day overall my lounge is really inspired by the parisian modern uh, schools of design i really love adding warmth into the space and i've done that through paneled molding on the walls um, also through lights as well and obviously the gilded mirror which i absolutely love there's so many different elements that you can bring into your space but do it bit by bit don't overwhelm yourself so that you're able to fill the space with items that you absolutely love so i hope you guys enjoyed that video how i styled my coffee table and how i styled my overall lounge i absolutely love the space and i feel so at home here um, stay tuned to next week's video where we're going to be showing you another space and how we've upscaled that space as well um, yeah if you're not subscribed make sure you subscribe turn on your notifications so that you don't miss any of our uploads and i'll see you in the next one